Hello everyone, Casino Duck here. Thank you for tuning in for another video. Tonight we're going to start on the elephant artwork, so let's get started. We're going to be doing some scroll work, so let me go ahead and show you real quick on how I like to attach a pattern so I can actually uh, scroll it you know, a lot easier and also be able to take the thing off. Here, let me show you real quick. Here's the pattern that we're going to use. Um, there's a couple ways, okay, real quick here, that a lot of scrollers will like to put their uh, patterns on. Some of them will use like an, an adhesive, you know, and then put that on there. I don't like that because when you're trying to take the pattern off, it's very difficult and sometimes you even have to sand it. Uh, some others will actually invert this and, or you know, have it backwards and then scroll it out and then have this the the side that you actually kind of see, which is good too. But I did find that one scroll solder on the internet I found, I love his idea, and it uses blue tape. And what I like about it is, is that you can set it down on the piece of wood, and it comes right on off, and there's no residue. It's just that simple. So you pretty much just put as much tape as you need across it, and then when we're done doing this, we will actually glue the pattern to the tape. And then when we're done scrolling with it, we just grab the blue tape. No residue, no harm, no foul, no cuss words or anything. It's a, a pretty neat little idea. So hopefully that helps out some of you scroll sellers out there. It's, uh, as far as helping people out, I don't know. I'm trying my best, but I don't know everything. So, if you, some of y'all know even a better way than this, please share down in the comments for us so that we can all can pretty much uh, get a lot better at this together. And then again, you know, this is for people too that just kind of like watching people build stiff. That's really what this is all about. So, when I put glue on these things, I, I just use regular wood glue because really it's all I got. Really, I guess Elmer's glue would be a lot cheaper, but it's all I have. I'll look through it. I don't know if you can see that in the camera, but I'll look through it and I'll try to get the main edges of it because I just don't want the paper to come back up. You know, you definitely don't have to glue the whole paper down, but you definitely do want it down where the pattern is so it doesn't peel back up on you because that can be a booger to actually scrub saw. Actually looks like an elephant right there. Okay. Just pretty much put it down where we want it, pretty much eyeball centered. You know, I have been uh, told that if it looks straight and centered, it is. I don't know where I heard, heard that from, I don't remember. But it seems to be pretty good. See, that's kind of high. Let's just get this down up here real quick. Alright, and that just dries pretty quick, not a big deal. What we're going to do next is we're going to take it to the uh, drill press and we're going to drill some little holes for our saw blades. We'll see you there. Okay, I used to have some smaller drill bits, those really, really, really tiny ones, but I broke them all. <laughs> so the smallest one I have now is this little bitty 1 16th of an inch bit. Um, believe it or not, it's about twice as big as my other little set. I loved it. I was able to get those really small blades in there, but I pretty much broke them all on this drill press here. And uh, that's completely user error. Nothing to do with how they were made. So, what I'm gonna, all I'm gonna, gonna do is I'm just gonna go around and, and drill a hole where I can put the saw blade through.
fits all of them. Nope, there's one right there. saw here we're going to go ahead and continue on with the one I showed you in the last video and we're going to finish this one up okay the kind of blades that I really like to use now y'all let me know you know if there's some better blades out there you know I'm kind of I'm kind of in the dark a little bit as far as blades go but I did find this one type of blade and they and, and they call them jeweler blades and when I'm using this little plywood quarter inch stuff I find that this stuff is just awesome it really rips through it really nice I can get really fine detail and this is also the, the exact same blade that I used to uh, do all the inlay on my uh, dining room table, which we'll show you later on. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started on uh, uh, scroll saw. Okay, let's get started. one that has so many damn holes but it is done and here's what I'm talking about about the tape and this one's been on there a couple days too so it's gonna be a little bit harder but still it's very very easy a lot easier than that spray adhesive that a lot of guys like to use and I don't have to say a couple of cuss words I'm trying to take it off too. It's always awesome. That helps out a little bit. Like I said, this one's been on a day or two, so it's 
definitely a little bit harder, but still, nevertheless, how awesome is this? No residue, yeah. You likey that. Okay, and there we are. Elephant number two is done. I guess that will do it for part one. Thanks everybody for watching. And don't forget to come back for part two. And we'll see you then. Good night everyone.